Welcome back everyone, it's Lucky Piano, and today we can actually get started on how to learn the piano by ear. So, now that we've completed the fundamentals, you now have the tools that are required to learn the piano by ear. And the first thing we're going to learn is how to replicate the singer's melody with your right hand on the piano. Because in every single cover that I do, the right hand is generally playing what the singer is playing, and that is what I'm going to teach you today. So, this is actually the one part of playing piano by ear which really depends mostly on experience rather than being something which I can easily teach you. When I first started out playing piano by ear around five or six years ago, it would take me around two hours to uh, two days for me to figure out how to play a song. However, now that I've had five, six years of experience, it usually takes me two minutes to five minutes to learn how to play a, um, a song by ear. And what made this difference? It was through experimentation. The more I tried to learn a song by ear, the more intuitive the entire process became, and the faster I got at it. So although I'm going to teach you today how I started off playing piano by ear, you really have to practice, practice, and practice to really get to a point where you can learn a song instantaneously as you listen to it. And to show you how to learn the right hand by ear, it's best to do this through an example. And today, our example is to learn how to play Ed Sheeran's Castle on the Hill by ear. Now, it's a song that I haven't really tried replicating on the piano yet, so it's a great example to show you the process that I go through to learn the song by ear. So let's get started and play the intro. So this is a good intro. Why? Because it's only got one note and it's just being repeated. So let's figure out what this note is in our head before we figure it out on the piano. Ooh. Now why am I doing this with my voice? Well, it's because it's much easier to find the note that the singer is singing with your voice than it is to find it on the piano. Because let's be honest, how many times have you tried singing along, or how many times have you gone to karaoke? Now, how many times have you tried doing the same thing except doing it on the piano? Exactly, you've done, you've sung a lot more than you've generally tried to uh, play a song on the piano. And that's just because it's much easier. Us humans, we're designed to do such a thing. So, that's the first step. You listen to the song. The second step is to match the song to your voice by, you know, humming along with it. So now that I know that my note is da, I can now figure out what it is on the piano. So let's just play any random note. This is the third step. Playing the random note. Da, da. This note is clearly higher compared to my note that I have in my head, so now I need to lower it. Da, da. Seems like quite a jump, so let's go to B. Da, 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 da. Okay, here's the thing, when you start humming different notes you will lose it, just like I did right now. So you're going to have to play the song again to get the note back in your head. So let's get it. Da, 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 da. This is only slightly higher, so let's just go down one. Da. Awesome, we found that note. I, I think that's what he plays, but that's okay. Figuring out the rhythm is generally pretty easy compared to figuring out the notes. So, that is in essence how you play the piano by ear, or uh, well, at least how to learn the right hand by ear. So, to rephrase that, step one. Listen to the song, find the note. Step two, hum and find the note with your voice. Step three, play a random note um, and then compare it with the note you have in your head. Step four, lower or raise it, depending on if it's sh um, sharper or flatter, until you get to the note that you want. Now, this is probably all very foreign to you, so let's go through another example, because this is pretty easy. I'm just finding out one note. What if we're trying to find out multiple notes? Let's now go through the actual start where he sings, so I can figure it out, that part. Okay, so now Ed Sheeran has sung the very first line of the song, and we're going to do the same. We're going to sing the first line of the song. When I was six years older... Awesome, I've got it. This actually raises a good point. It's much easier to learn a song on the piano if you know the song well, and therefore it's much easier to learn the song on the piano if you can sing the song. And that's good, right? Because you generally should sing the songs that you enjoy, and I assume that you want to learn the songs on piano because you enjoy them as well. So why not do both? So, um, here we have, and I was six years older. Let's just again play a random note. 
da and da 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 da. This is higher, so we go down. Da and I was six. She sounds about right. And I was six. Okay, this doesn't sound right. It sounds slightly flat. So let's raise it up by a semitone. Da. That sounds about right. And I was six years old. Da 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 da. This is slightly higher, so we can move it down. Da. That sounds right. And I was six years old. Da. Awesome. Now I've got it. Let's um go through one more example and go to the next part. And I was running from my brother. I was running from my. And I was running from my. So this is slightly higher. Da, da, da. This is the note that we want. And I was running from my brother. Awesome, we've got another line. And just like that, you repeat the process for every single line in the song until you get to the point where you now know the song by ear. Now this is a very tedious process because it means you have to go through every single note in the song until you figure it out. And for people who aren't so used to it, if you're just beginning at this, then this is, each note is going to take a significant amount of time. So there must be more efficient ways because how do you go from doing, how do you do all of this in two to five minutes? Well, the idea is that you don't. Once you get to a point where you're really comfortable with learning a song by ear, you move to the next step and that is to learn the song with your fingers. Sounds crazy, right? Your fingers don't really have a mind of their own, but the truth is they kind of do. Remember when I was teaching the fundamentals and I talked about scales and how they were so important to learning um, songs by ear? Well, that's where they come in. You see, from here, I've already figured out that this, these, these five notes belong to two scales. One of them is G major. So if I just play G major over the, my right hand, these are the five notes that I've played or I know are in the song. If I play the G major scale over it, right? All these five notes were in the G major scale. But they're also in the D major scale. So because of that, my fingers are now adjusting themselves back to the G major scale. Because I've been playing scales for at least 10 years now, my fingers are... My fingers are now extremely familiar with the patterns of playing um, a G major scale. So when I first started learning um, the very first line, this was relatively easy for me because my fingers are familiar with the G major scale and the D major scale. So that's what I mean by playing um, songs by ear, uh, by your fingers, because it comes to a point where your fingers will move by instinct. And this is aided by your hearing. Once you develop your ear to the point where it becomes really easy for you to tell whether or not the next note is sharper or lower, that is when your um, speed at learning how to play a piano uh, song by ear becomes really fast. And another thing that also helps is musical theory. It, when you play enough songs, it gets to the point where you can kind of expect notes. See, like, that could work with the G major or the D major scale. But the thing is, it just doesn't sound that great, whereas... This fits more sort of traditional music theory of how to construct a, melo uh, a melodic tune. So those are the three components. You start off by learning how to play songs by ear. That is, to figure out each note one by one until you have all the notes available to you. Then, as you get more advanced, you start to learn songs by your fingers. Because you're so used to playing scales now, it will eventually come to the point where your fingers will instinctively reach out for the notes that the singer is singing. And thirdly, you learn how to play piano through musical theory, because you can come to predict and expect certain notes to appear simply because that's how music is written. Awesome! So how do you get better at this? Well, you want to start off with learning very simple songs. And what are the most simplest songs you can learn? The most simplest songs you can learn are nursery rhymes. Why? Because nursery rhymes are designed for kids. They were designed to be really simple so that kids could sing it because kids aren't as good at, you know, figuring out notes 
as we are as sort of teenagers or adults. And so that's where you should really get started. You should get started by learning these nursery rhymes on the piano by ear. And I mean, it's even greater because you know all these nursery rhymes, right? Let's just go with the one from The Sound of Music. Do a deer, a female deer, da. Oh god. That's probably not a very good note to start on. That's okay. Do a deer, a female deer, da 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 Just like that you can learn these very simple songs. Okay, maybe that one wasn't so easy, but take an easier one, for example, like Happy Birthday. That doesn't sound right. You know it's Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. And just like that, I figured out Happy Birthday. So with these simple nursery rhymes, you want to continuously learn them over and over again, and there are plenty of nursery rhymes out there for you to practice. And the best thing about this is because you know them by, um, sort of, in your head already, you can, you don't even need, say, like a phone or a tablet or a laptop to play the song for you, you can just sing it. And the best part is, you can learn it in different keys. So I've done this in C major. But you can easily learn the song in G major. And in D major. And by doing this, you're familiarizing yourself with the scales of, um, you know, other scales. And so now you're familiarizing yourself with this, and it makes it, it makes it even easier when you have to encounter these scales in actual songs. Awesome. So the final part of this, once you're, um, you know, used to playing nursery rhymes, you want to move on to the next level, to the interesting stuff. You want to learn the pop songs that you um, are watching this video to learn. So I would recommend you go for simple pop songs. Pop songs that either, you know, repeat over a single note, or pop songs that have their notes held for a long time. What do I mean by this? Well, let's take Lay By Me, I, I, Lay With Me. I think that's the song there, by Sam Smith, the one goes... Yeah, I don't really know um, what that's called. But anyway, why is this a good song to learn? It's because in the chorus, each song is held for quite some time, and you can tell that E is being repeated. Awesome! There's only three notes in here, and E is repeated most of the time. That is extremely easy to learn than when you compare it to something, say, like, like, hmm. Let's go with Viva La Vida, where it goes. seven or eight notes right there compared to three notes. And the thing is, in this in Viva La Vida, these notes are being played a lot faster, so the frequency of note changing is much faster and it will be much more difficult for you to pick out these notes. So yeah, that's my recommendation. Go for songs that have um, little, very little variation in notes and uh, notes that help for very long. Okay, so in summary, you want to start off learning playing piano by ear by figuring out the right hand to the song that you are trying to learn. This is not a technique that, you know, can be easily taught, it's rather one that requires vast amounts of experience for you to get good at. Now how do you do this? Well, step one, you uh, listen to the song and you find the note that you want to replicate. Step two, you now hum your voice to match your voice with the note that you are trying to replicate on the piano. Step three. Play a random note on the piano and compare it with the note that you're humming. Step 4. If it's sharper than the note you're humming, then you want to find a low note that is lower than it. If it's uh, flatter than the note you're humming, then you want to find a note which is sharper than it. You keep repeating this process until you find the right note. After you do that, you repeat the process for every single note in the song sung by the, uh, sung by the singer. 
Now, that's the first stage of playing the right hand by ear. The second stage, once you get good at playing it by ear, you go on to playing by finger. Because your fingers are so used to playing scales now that it becomes instinctive for your fingers to find the right notes. And then once you get good enough at that, you start predicting notes because you have such good knowledge of music theory that you can kind of figure out which notes the singer would want to go to because that's just how music is written. Now to practice all of this, you want to start off by learning various basic nursery rhymes and once you get comfortable with learning a song, um, a nursery rhyme, then you want to do it in a different scale so that you can get familiar with different scales. And finally, um, once you're familiar with nursery rhymes in various scales, you want to go on and learn simple pop songs that have repeated notes, very little variations of notes, and also notes that are held for a long time so that you can have time to figure out these notes. So there we have it, learning the right hand by ear. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to seeing you again in the next lesson. Good luck.